that thing out of my face before Excuse I... Excuse me, Chief. What? The bad guys have caught the attention of its audience with its twists and a shocking ending. DreamWorks' latest animation production has a crew of animal thieves, including the short fuse Muscle Piranha, the seen it all safe Cracker Snake, extremely funny master of disguise Shark, and an expert hacker Tarantula. Not to forget Mr. Wolf, who is a dashing pickpocket. Each one of them has a unique personality, which is a highlight of this movie. However, after years of successful heists, the most wanted villains, however, get caught. However, in the journey of fooling people into believing that they've been transformed but Mr. Wolf soon figures out that doing good could actually give him the acceptance that he's always secretly longed, however, the question is, could he actually persuade the gang to become the good guys? Are you okay, ma'am? Thank you, dear. You're such a good boy. Released in April 2022, The Bad Guys focuses on the antics of Mr. Snake, Mr. Shark, Mr. Wolf, Mr. Piranha, and Ms. Tranchula, who have stolen enough riches in order to afford a luxurious lifestyle. But when the gang gets mocked by the leader of the city, Governor Foxington, the gang plots to steal the famous Golden Dolphin Award, which seems like an intriguing challenge as many thieves tried and failed to take it in the past. The interesting part comes in when after pulling off the Ocean's Eleven style heist, the bad guys manage to do the impossible, but unfortunately get caught during the getaway by the police. However, an interesting turn of events takes place as Professor Marmalade volunteers to convert the bad guys into good guys. The ending, however, shocked everyone due to a significant amount of factors, but nonetheless, the bad guys is an exciting, gag-filled production, which will entertain not only the kids, but adults as well. You're afraid because I'm the big bad wolf. The movie never explains the reason behind why everyone in the bad guys except the gang are humans. During the heist and car chase scenes, it is easy to differentiate among the characters that the audience should focus on. But it gets a little confusing for everyone as it's noticed that only the main characters are anthropomorphic. This could be defined as having human characteristics, whereas other animals in the movie act like normal animals. An example being the guinea pig. If we observe closely, the animals portray by the anthropomorphic bad guys are all carnivores, which represent the dangers that they pose to everyone else. The makers very clearly showed each member of the gang possessing the characteristics of the gang member's personality. Ms. Tarantula is shown to be able to hack into anything just like a spider can creep into mini holes in spaces. Similarly, Mr. Shark is shown to be the master of disguise in spite of being the only walking shark in the city. Moreover, the movie also references other famous animal fables as well as fairy tales as Mr. Fox could be seen wearing a sheep onesie, a literal wolf which is in sheep's clothing, and later goes ahead disguised as a grandmother as in the famous story Little Red Riding Hood. So obvious. I want you to save it. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> the crew could be seen lashing out at Wolf because in an act of faking being heroes in order to steal the award, Wolf had actually gone good. The crew gets mad as he falls in love with the governor and also falls for the marmalade's dumb spec about altruism, according to the crew. But all of them get lucky as a former criminal named Crimson Paw arrives and frees them. It turns out Diane had turned her life around after realizing that being a villain and stealing wasn't worthwhile years back. The sad bit happened when after she let her guard down and helped to get them out. They eventually abandon Wolf and Diane. Wolf and Diane go back to their lair to stop Marmalade's mind control machine, which is at his mansion. But because Diane had previously raided the crew's hold and even took out the stolen cash back thanks to Wolf's intel, Snake lost it over the betrayal. Is that so? Wait a second, what did… how did you… A wolf and a fox are not so different. Diane and Wolf infiltrated this mansion in order to steal the space rock, but they soon found out that Snake had arrived and betrayed them. Soon they get imprisoned and the Snake admits that he loved being bad. Wolf would have had others contemplating permanent redemption, but Snake didn't want any part of it because this is exactly what his species was always meant to be like and do. Snake! Are you kidding me? We're supposed to save them, not eat them? Well, I'd say they've gone to a better place. 
place. Professor Marmalade actually turned out to be a true bad guy of the movie rather than being the sweet nurtured altruist that he appeared to be. He himself volunteered to turn the bad guys into good guys, however, he had a secret agenda, which was to frame the gang. Moreover, his evil plan included framing the gang so he would be able to carry out his cruel scheme undetected. Next, Marmalade's dark turn had to happen as it allowed the bad guys to use their high skills for better purpose. And motivated by revenge, the gang was successfully able to become the heroes for the people who lived in the city as well as deceive the nefarious rodent. Another twist was Diane Foxington disclosing the secret of her being the infamous Crimson Paw, a long-retired criminal. She also revealed that she was never caught. The first act seems to portray her as the movie's villain as she had suspicious deep understanding of the criminal operations. She even told Mr. Wolf that some things weren't always as they appear as they admired modern art. This message did ring a few bells later on in the movie, but instead of opposing the bad guys, she ended up teaming up with them. Her twist very well proved to Mr. Wolf, as well as his friends, that it was rather possible to leave a life of crime and bad doing behind and move on in life, as well as make a difference by turning into a good person. Lastly, discussing Mr. Snake, he had the most impressive character development as in the start of the movie. This slippery veteran possessed all the qualities which are required to be a villain, hence he wouldn't be at a place in Reservoir Dogs. He seemed to be disgusted by the crew's turn to good and better side, therefore he betrayed his friends in order to team up with Marmalade. However, it is slowly revealed as his plan so that he would be able to defeat the mean guinea pig from the inside. Mr. Snake Double Twist was executed extremely well in the bad guys, emphasizing the movie's important message that anyone can be good despite their appearance and past. Fantastic! Wolf, you're a genius! <laughs> Snake confirmed that he went undercover and was never actually an ally of Marmalade. In fact, he swapped the meteorites and Marmalade Chopper was even carrying a dad. This gave Snake plenty of time to sabotage the machine back at the mansion. Moreover, Marmalade had stolen an expensive gem from Diane, but it soon backfired as it led to him being framed as Crimson Paw. He then got carted off to prison, leaving Team Wolf happier and reunited. But with no arms. Jackpot! Yes. The series of twists doesn't end here as Wolf left one ice cream pop behind that two at the lair, knowing that Snake would give it to the shark as soon as they realized that their loot was gone. Wolf did count on Snake to get their breakout to get the tingle of goodness inside after sharing. He knew that this would then lead Snake coming up with a Hail Mary plan. It was a bold move which proved that Wolf did trust and believed in his buddy after all. Let's try some Something simpler. I'm going to give you a push pop. Just for me. No, to share. In the ending scene, it is seen that Mr. Wolf and Mr. Snake are the last of the group to get out of jail. They are released early as they portrayed good behavior, which does solidify the fact that they did change. Moreover, they are picked up by the gang, the other bad guys, who ask them if they are ready for work, leaving a lot of room for the audience to figure out what exactly their next job will be. Not only this, but the bad guys also has plenty of enemies in the Aaron Blabley source books, which could be introduced and appear on the big screen, such as Dread Overlord Sparligon, which is an evil multiverse conquering centipede. Want to stay out of jail? You need to go good. And that is all for this video. What do you think of the ending for the bad guys? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications by pressing the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Arrest them! We're out of here! So long, suckers! Don't win, no win. Well, this just got a little weird.